Hello, it is Thursday, February 29th, 2024. I'm Chris Remond. Welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Thursday crossword today, which means we're going to have some sort of interesting or intricate theme, and we can see we can see some evidence of that in this note on the uh, at the top of the grid. I'm very curious as to um, as to what solving this will look like. We'll get to that in a moment. In any case, this mysterious edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Mitchell Turek, Henrik Koskinen, David Innes, and as always, the indomitable Shoalmaster. So thank you so much to the four of them. They're benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign, which means they sustain this channel. They keep this series going. I'm very grateful to them for that support. So thank you to those four. Thank you to everybody who supports the Daily Solve uh, Patreon campaign. And if you'd like to do so yourself, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field. You'll find there all of the bonus videos available to patrons as well as for benefactors, the official let's check the crosses mug. So do, uh, do check that out if you're, if you're so minded and, um, thanks to everybody who contributes. Thanks to everybody who subscribes to the channel on YouTube, uh, who likes the videos, comments from time to time. Those things are helpful. And finally, you can join the Daily Solve Discord chat server to discuss these puzzles, uh, these videos, other crosswords, other puzzles. There is a link in the description field to that friendly chat community. All right, let's get on to today's crossword. Let's find out what's going on. This is a Thursday puzzle by Esha Data. It's her second puzzle for the New York Times. It was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. And we have a note which reads... This puzzle is intended to have picture clues. If you're solving on an app that hasn't been updated, you might see a description of the missing image file instead of the intended clue. If you aren't able to update your app, you can solve online or in print to get the full solving experience. And then there's a credit to Daniel Savage for the illustrations. So we're solving online, so presumably this won't be an issue. I have a version of this page where I've removed that note. So let's start solving and see what on earth is going on with... Ah, okay, right. So yes, we have little illustrations as some of our clues. All right. They, they all seem musical. They all seem to involve instruments. Okay. Line just above total, maybe. Uh, tax, maybe? I'm thinking on an invoice, you could have a subtotal and then the tax and then the total amount below it. Let's try that and see. Where many bags of leaves can be found... Um, well, my first thought was a garden or a yard in which leaves have been collected into bags, but it could be bags, ba tea leaves. It could be, you could find bags of tea leaves in a tea shop would fit in this number of letters. And that makes tax looks pr look pretty good. So let's check the crosses on this. That Spanish could be eso. Um... This is strange looking, isn't it? Energizing snack. Hmm. Not sure about that. Let's keep looking at this and see if maybe I've done something wrong. I don't know. Response to a baby animal picture. Probably awe. Do I think it's A? -A no, I don't think it's A-W. That looks ridiculous somehow. Um, I think it's probably A-W-W. -W. And this looks strange as well. Cross my heart. I swear it. Or I swear, yeah, I swear it would fit. Hmm. Okay, this is wrong. Oh, it's it's not to, it's not tax. It's tip. So it's in a um. It's in a restaurant uh, context, and y you might add a tip before adding up to the total of the uh, the amount you'd like to pay. Okay, so energizing snack. Power something. What am I missing there? Here we have, like many tournaments, seeded tournament. You have a seed, a tournament seed. There we go. So this is power something. What is it? I'm not sure. Uh, what about this one? Oh, <laughs> this looks like a seal playing a harp or something. Harp seal? Is that a phrase? Is that a pun or something? Uh, not really sure. Harp lion, sea lion, harp seal. Does that mean something? I'm trying to think. It, it almost certainly starts with harp. We have an H-A here. Harps, you know, harp seal. Sorry, I'm just trying to think. I'm trying to pronounce it different ways and see if I stress it in different ways and see if I can imagine what it might mean. I don't know. Uh, it may not be the answer. Energizing snack, power aid. 
maybe? It's a drink? It's a branded drink? I don't know if that's right. Blank matter, brain cover. Mm, I don't think this is right. PID. Oh, it's it's Mater, sorry. Um, I have seen this before. Pia, maybe? Pia, Pia Mater? Uh, like a planet's path. Okay, well, this is clear. Orbital. Okay, a planet follows an orbit around a star. Okay, so energizing snack is a power bar, power bar. That's another branded, uh, in this case, food. Okay, power bar. It probably has lots of protein or something. So Pia, Pia Mater, that, that is right. Okay, my recollection was right there. So here we have, oh, trumpet swan, trumpet of the swan. What am I missing here? The Trumpet of the Swan, that's, that's a book, right? Trumpet of the Swan, <laughs> why would we be leaving out the? Ah, I'm not, I'm not quite getting this theme. <laughs> I'm not quite getting it. Uh, harp seal. Oh my goodness. Okay. Overrun. Infest. Works with the seal suspicion. Beats me. No idea. Oops. There we go. It looks like harp seal. <laughs> it's going to be that for some reason. Place for three men of verse. Oh, in a tub. You rub a dub dub, three men in a tub. Goes the, goes the children's rhyme. What the 1660s Pascaline machine named for Blaise Pascal could do. Oh, add, presumably. That's interesting. I should look that up. I'm not familiar with that off the top of my head. Blank wave. Um, could be some kind of geometric thing, or what? what, what is this? I'm not sure offhand. Nothing doing. No... Nothing. So nothing. when you say nothing doing, you mean you, what you're saying is essentially, I refuse or I won't. No no dice. There we go. No dice. Nothing doing. Not interested. Oh, tidal wave. Oh, right. Of course. Okay. That was straightforward. School that once used a live bear as a mascot during football games. Was it UCLA? They're the UCLA Bruins. So that, oh, I think I have actually, I think I did read about this once. I think they did use a live bear at one point in history. Okay. There we go. Oh, fiddler crab. That is an animal. Fiddler crab. Okay, are these all animals then? Maybe these are just names of animals. Maybe the harp seal is just a kind of seal. That must be the case. So here we have, uh, because fiddler crab, I definitely recognize. So fiddler crab, harp seal, that's fine. Good. Okay. <laughs> Simpler theme than I was trying to make it, I suppose. And here we have ingredient in some batter. Uh, beer, you have beer battered shrimp, I don't know, various things sometimes. Swiss river, oh, the, I'm probably not going to pronounce this correctly, but I believe it's spelled A-A-R-E, the R, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, I apologize. Pause to play. Pause to play, question mark. What is this? What is this getting at? Is it a break in a, in a sort of pause in a game or a, a dramatic production or what is it? I don't know. Uh, for some reason, I can't, I just can't think. Okay, here we have big name in trucks. Oh, Mack trucks. They make big trucks. Often when you see big name, sometimes, I mean, I think this might be slightly playing on the fact that Mack trucks are big. I don't know. It doesn't matter whether it is or isn't. It's still a valid answer. Okay. Mideast site of conflict. Well, the obvious one right now would be Gaza. Um, but that ne isn't necessarily the only possibility. What about this? Series of courses. Series of courses. I mean, it could be a series of educational courses. I'm not sure what that would be. It could be a series of courses of food, which could be a meal. That would actually allow this to be MC, GMC also. 
makes trucks. Is Mac actually, what is Mac? People say Mac truck. Is that, oh no, that's M-A-C-K. That's M-A-C-K. That's the manufacturer name. Um, okay, so that was wrong anyway. So, be, oh, the, okay, well, that would allow this to be Gaza then. And then this series, of course, is to be a meal. Okay, right. So to make bubbly, oh, as in water, for instance, could be to aerate it, to uh, carbonate it, for instance. Um, well, I guess that's not technically aerate carbonation because that's it's not just air that you're putting in there. But can you aerate something with, can you aerate with carbon dioxide or would that be just called the carbonation as opposed to aeration? I don't know. Anyway, to aerate something is, is to add air. So, uh, I don't know about the specific nuances of that word. Mideast spice blend, za'atar, um, which is a spice blend. There we go, which I have used. And state capital once home to Herman Melville, Albany, New York, presumably. That looks like what fits here. So Herman Melville of Moby Dick fame must have lived there. Um, at a discount, oops, um, straightforward enough, something on sale. Game Island represented by hexagonal tiles. Oh, this is Catan from the game The Settlers of Catan, um, which is played with uh, hexagonal tiles, as indicated. Pause to play. Record. Pause to play. Rec. Recce. You take a recce, you take a look. I'm not sure what this is looking for still. Oh, recess. Oh, it's recess. It's as in, you know, in primary school or something, you might, uh, you have a recess, you pause class in order to play. There we go. Okay, that's what it is. So reason to take a back road, maybe. Um, a detour, a delay, a, uh, oh, scenery. There could be more, there could be more scenery. It could be more beautiful to take a back road rather than a main road. Okay, that could be the answer. Once again would be anew. You do something once again, you do it anew. Testify would be to uh, to testify to praise. Doesn't really, I don't really think that's a tight fit. What about this? Trees in the birch family, elders. There we go. That's a tree. So to testify to to testify to something, to swear to it, to depose in court. There we go. Okay. I think that's probably the answer. You put a, des a, dep a deposition, a uh, testimonial sort of. Certain racing wear. A speedo, I guess, if you, for kind of, I don't know, lightweight and aerodynamic reasons, I suppose. Uh, here we have a cor anglais, which is an English horn. There we go. There's the, it's the French word, which is often used in English context as well. Oh, trumpeter swan. Oh, you know, what's funny is I think I have actually heard that before, but I just, I was so focused on the trumpet of the swan that I couldn't, uh, I couldn't get past it. Okay. Well, there we go. So we've got our, our fiddler crab, our harp seal, our trumpeter swan. So these are all sort of musical sounding animal names. Very good. Boldly stylish in slang. I'm not sure. What about this one though? More quickly, more quick. Oh, that's, that's clever. More so quickly means an abbreviation. More means and other things, you know, etc. For instance, etc. etc. It's a way of saying there's more to this list, but quickly you're shortening it to etc. And I mean, I suppose it takes them the same amount of time to say, but it would be more quickly in written form. And I guess I mean it's a pun, so there's a question mark. Okay. Uh, boldly stylish and sly. Oh, fierce, maybe. I have heard that to use sort of boldly stylish. I think that's probably the answer. Sightings of them can be reported on the Enigma app. Okay, I've never heard of the Enigma app, but sightings and UF makes me think UFOs, unidentified flying objects. There must be an app to report those, I guess. Unlucky accident would be a mishap. There we go. And sweet pea, there we go. That is a, um, yeah, a term of endearment, I suppose. And I guess it could refer to literal peas. Pastries usually accompanied by chutney. Samosas are often served in, say, an Indian restaurant with um, chutney or sometimes a variety of chutneys. Most common vowel sounds in English are schwa's. So schwa's are those, um, it's, 
if you say something like common, I think the the O in common essentially itself would be a schwa. It's kind of just a, a it's it's sort of a, a very un, indistinct sound. And English is absolutely full of it. We've got that all over the place. It would be odd if you sort of un, fully enunciated that vowel. It would sound stilted and affected. Uh, stilted, I think the one in the ED and stilted, the E there is an ex- another example of it, I think. Okay, romantic infatuation. A crush, you have a crush on someone, a romantic infatuation. And to achieve widespread recognition would be to arise, to achieve widespread recognition, to, oh, to arrive, to arrive. You, you say she's arrived, she's achieved widespread recognition, she's she's made it. Okay, here we have store posting, abbreviation. So store might post its hours, abbreviated HRS, its opening times. And cotton material could be muslin, so sort of coarse cotton material, I suppose. Oh, and here we have mistakes in baseball, or what 1824, 34, and 51 across might produce. They might produce wild wild animals. They might produce wild, I don't know. What about this? Blank jokes. Well, if it were D for wild, this could be dad jokes, which makes sort of corny jokes that make you groan. Um, so what about this? Running shoe brand, AV. Okay, that I've seen as a shoe brand. And then to telegraph, say, oh, I see. So telegraph, to telegraph some information would be to send the information. And obviously that de- that derives from literal telegraph technology, but these days I think mainly used metaphorically. Okay, so what are mistakes in baseball? And what might these animals produce? Well, what about this one? We've not looked at this animal yet. This is a toucan? What is that? Or a pelican? No, what is it? Parrot? I can't tell what this is. Sorry. Um, it's not a pelican. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, um, not sure. Horn something? Hornbill? Hornbill. That's an animal. Maybe that's maybe that's the only part of maybe it doesn't matter what what bird is specifically being reflected in here. Well, maybe it is a hornbill, but maybe the important part is just that it has a bill for the purpose of the clue. Okay, so I'm not sure that's right, but let's let's go through this. Actress Anne of Wag the Dog. Oh, Wag the Dog. Wow, I actually saw that film in the cinema when it was released uh, and thought it was hilarious. Anyway, uh, Anne Hesch in that film. Okay, Pulitzer-winning author who was also a film critic for Time Magazine. Pulitzer-winning author who was also a film critic for Time Magazine. I'm annoyed that I can't just think of who this is, but I, I can't offhand. Coated with gold. Guild or, or guilt? I guess it would be guilt because guild would be the verb to guild. And if something has been gilded, it is guilt. So that, that's that's the answer. Okay. Oh, Aggie, James Aggie. Is it Aggie or Aggie? I feel I've always made that, that, had that confusion in my head. Aggie, I think. Okay, well, what about this? List on display at the airport. Uh, ET, well, it could be ETDs or ETAs. Estimated times of departure or of arrival. Um, D doesn't look very good. It looks like a bit of a mess here. So probably ETAs. And then this is plural, so it'll be the same anyway. Safari pest, oh, so it could be a tsetse fly. That's a, um, um, it's, it's an African fly. Okay, so there we go. Calls for delivery. Delivery could be delivery of a parcel or something. It could be delivery of a food order. It could be delivery of a child in childbirth. It could be delivery simply of, you deliver a speech. Oh, Orates calls for delivery. No, I don't. I don't know what the calls bit would be there. It's not. I don't think that's right. Um, a tire, a tire for a toddler. A onesie. There we go. And what is this? Jumpa blank Pulitzer winning interpreter of, sorry, Pulitzer winning author of interpreter of maladies. Lahari, I believe, is the author's name. Let's see if this is right. Popular song. Maybe it's Lahori. 
popular song. Oh, I thought it was Lahari. What about this? Calls for delivery. Hmm. Oh, well, this is wild. Sorry, this is wild pitches. Um, mistakes in baseball, wild pitches. These might produce wild pitches. What does that mean? Oh, wild pitches. As in musical pitches. They might produce wild pitches because they're probably all over the place. I mean, an animal, you know, a crab playing a fiddle or a seal playing a harp, they're probably going to produce some pretty wild pitches. That would be a safe guess. Okay, I see now. Great. So then what about this? Popular song. Oh, it's not a hat. It's a hit. It's Lahiri. Sorry about that. Jhumpa Lahiri. That does sound better now that I say it. Um, but I obviously did not remember properly initially. Okay. Calls for delivery. Oh, orders. Okay. So it's food delivery or, or you know, del mail order, you know, ordering something off the internet or something. So that's the kind of delivery it means. All right. Like a final desperate attempt. Do or die. Salt at times. Desiccant. Uh, it's much too long. Uh, baseball stat. RBI runs. runs. Bat it in. Could have sworn I remembered what this was. Now I feel I'm doubting myself. I think that's right. Salt at times. Oh, a de-icer. Salt is often used to de-ice a path or something. So to renounce is to abdicate. There we go. As in your position or your responsibility. If you stuck the landing, you nailed it. And a place for soap. Oops. Place for soap. What about this? Comic sound BAM, maybe? Oh, Melrose, as in Melrose Place, the soap opera, the U.S. soap opera. That's funny. Oops. Sorry, I hadn't realized we were at the end. Let's go over the, uh, the final crosses here. So a rumpus is an ado, so a bit of a commotion. Um, Tis better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. And here we have time for Paris's uh, 2024 Jeux Olympiques. So this is summer in French. And yes, the Paris Olympics are coming up, I think, in August. Um, so there we have it. All right. And uh, there's Ate for us, summer in, in French. And I think we've seen all of the rest of these. All right. Well, there we go. That was our Thursday puzzle with a very, a very fun theme. Very nice. Very nice illustrations by Daniel Savage. Uh, and um, let's take a look at them again. We've got our fiddler crab, our harp seal, our trumpeter swan, and our hornbill. Is that how many there were? Yes, there were four. Uh, these animals may well produce wild pitches, which are mistakes in baseball. So uh, this is one of those themes where I suppose you don't necessarily need to understand the theme in a thematic sense, but you certainly need to engage with the theme actively because you need to translate these um, little illustrations into um, punny ways to refer to animals, I suppose. And uh, I certainly have heard of a fiddler crab. I'm sure I have heard of a trumpeter swan. I've definitely heard of a hornbill. I've probably heard of a harp seal. I, I probably have. I wonder if it's a case where it's actually a fairly common seal so we don't even necessarily use that terminology in all cases. I don't know. Anyway, those are our four wild pritch producing animals. That was our ridiculous and fun Thursday crossword by Esha Data, And, um, and that's the video. So I'll be back tomorrow for a themeless crossword. No illustrations tomorrow, we assume. Uh, do join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Thursday. Take care. Uh -huh.